equal to 3. Here's another type of question that you might face. Here it says identify the mixed number for point A. And looking at the number line, I see the whole number 0, 1, and 2. And it does look like A, point A, is in between 2 and 3. So for the mixed number, I'll go ahead and write in 2 there. It's 2 and then a fraction. At that point, I zoom in and I really look really closely in between 2 and 3. I see that in between 2 and 3, that is divided into two parts in between 2 and 3. So that 2 is our denominator. And then this is 1 away from that whole number, and that's why 1 is there. And so that a is at 2 and 1 half. And then so it looks very similar to what it is that I was doing before. Here's the same type of question. It's asking you where point B is on the number line. Now this is a partial number line where it is that you'll notice that this is now starting with a 3 here, a 4 here, and a 5 here for the whole numbers. And then so they're not showing you 2, 1, or 0 as we were seeing before. So the whole portion of the mixed number for point B is going to be 3. Our denominator in this case, that's how many parts that is, this is divided into in between each of those whole numbers. So that's 1, 2, and 3 parts. And therefore, we'll write a 3 for the denominator. Finally, away from the whole number, that's 1, and 2 away from the whole number. So we will write a 2 there. Labeling those pieces on the number line might give you a better idea about how it is that this number line is broken out. So that's 3 and 2 thirds. 3, 3 and 1 third, 3 and 2 thirds, 4. All right, it's your turn. Go ahead and copy this bottom portion down where you're writing a mixed number for point A and point B. Write that mixed number for point A and for point B. Go ahead and hit pause. For point A, that's two holes, and then the denominator is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That means the denominator for B is also going to be 5, so if you have that wrong already, you're going to have to go ahead and correct that. The mixed number for point A is 2 and 3 fifths, and then so this is 2 and 1 fifth here. This is 2 and 2 fifths here, and that's 2 and 3 fifths, 2 and 4 fifths, and 3. That means 3, and then B is at 3 and 1 fifth. And then I can stop labeling there. I'll just talk them out though. 3 and 2 fifths, 3, 3 and 3 fifths, 3 and 4 fifths, 4. So again, the mixed number for point B written right here is 3 and 1 fifth, where we have that whole. And then we have that fractional part. A common mistake is to say, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so that would be a 4 in the denominator. No, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parts. And between each of those whole numbers, it's divided into 5 parts. So that's how it is that we place those fractions and mixed numbers onto a number line.